Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. As you may already know from the last Charlotte Family video, the entirety of Big Mom's children were named and ordered recently in Volume 5 of One Piece magazine. Last week we went through all of the sons and now it's time to take a journey through the delightful daughters. And while there aren't quite as many of them as there are the sons, there are still 39. So let's get cracking and commence with the very first daughter and second child, Charlotte Compo. She is 49 years old, meaning she was born one year after the first son, Perispero, and she currently reigns as the Minister of Fruit on Fruit. Island. We don't really know anything about her at the time of this recording, and this magazine did not change that. But she does seem to be extremely well respected amongst the Big Mom pirates, so she probably possesses some degree of dangerous strength. Getting into the second Charlotte daughter and ah, uh, good quadruplets again, all of whom are 47 years old and half snake neck. We begin with Charlotte Monday, the official second daughter, before moving through to the much more familiar third daughter, Charlotte Amand, who is one of my personal favorite Charlotte siblings, actually. She's also the only one out of these quadruplets that we actually know anything about, being the Minister of Nuts on Nuts Island, specifically Peanut Town, which you may remember is one of the many locations where Big Mom went on a rampage in the series. Not only that, but Amand also possesses a Mato grade sword named Shirao. And while its exact grade is unknown, that is still very, very cool. And then the quadruplets are rounded out with two names that I am going to heavily butcher. The fourth daughter, Charlotte Hache, and the fifth daughter, Charlotte Efire. The latter of whom is one of Oda's trademark topless women in nothing but a jacket design, but all four of them seem to at least appreciate a nice hat. Next up, we have some triplet fun, one of whom we went over in the sun's video Charlotte Cracker, but within his birthing group were also sixth daughter Charlotte Custard, as well as slightly more lavender haired seventh daughter Charlotte Angel. Very notably, all three of these triplets seem to favor using swords and they are all 45 years of age. From quads to trips, now to twins, beginning with the ever familiar eighth daughter Charlotte Brulee, who we can consider one of the MVPs of Whole Cake Island because without her Mira Mira no Mi abilities, the Straw Hats would have been absolutely screwed. But Brulee has a twin of stark contrast in ninth daughter Charlotte Broy. Once again, I've probably completely butchered that name, but she is the Minister of Meringue, and you might be expecting her to reside on, say, Meringue Island, but instead it is Mirenge Island, specifically Muringe Town, which seems a lot like Oda just changing around the characters in the word Meringue, just because. But the stark contrast of these twins also evokes a very Glinda and Wicked Witch dynamic. More triplets now, one of which we've also already examined, being Charlotte Moscato, the Minister of Gelato. But just as with Cracker, he also had birth friends, being 10th daughter Charlotte Mash, who sounds very potato-based, although we don't get her profession, but we do have 11th daughter Charlotte Cornstarch, who is the Minister of Communications, one of the few jobs that don't seem to be food based on Loving Island. And each member of this triple threat is 40 years old. Twinning once more, we have 12th daughter Charlotte Mozart and 13th daughter Charlotte Marnier, the latter of whom is the Minister of Yeast on Kibo Island, and whose name may be based on a French brandy. The former of whom is, uh, well, also here, and they are both 37 years old. Trouble in Triplet Town is upon us once again, beginning with the sweet commander and 14th daughter, Charlotte Smoothie, who is the minister of juice on 100% Island, which is possibly a reference to some sort of pure fruit juice. She also has the Shibo Shibo no Mi, a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to drain and absorb liquids. Then there's 15th daughter, Charlotte Citron, who serves as minister of eggs on Yoke Island, as well as 16th daughter, to Charlotte Cinnamon, who is assumedly the something of something, but who knows. In any case, they are all 35 years old. Now, for the first time in this video, we have a single child, 17th daughter Charlotte Melise. Although she's kind of a weird one though because of the antlers. This is odd because the child directly preceding her 23rd son, Charlotte Passans, also has antlers, leading many people to believe that they are twins. But Passans is listed as 34, while Melise is 33, so perhaps they had the same father or something. But we do have another real set of twins in the form of Charlotte Galette, the 18th daughter and minister of Butter on Margarine Island. She also has the Butter Butter no Mi, which allows Galette to create and control this weird kind of translucent butter stuff. If you've ever eaten see-through butter, feel free to let me know, but I just find the concept weird. Kind of like 19th daughter Charlotte Poir, who wears a panda hat on her head and appears to have super, super sharp teeth. But you know, Galette also has horn things, so who knows what kind of genetics were at play with these twins. Both of them are 31 years of age, by the way. And did somebody say mermaids? No? Well, here are some mermaids anyway, with 20th daughter Charlotte Brim and 21st daughter Charlotte Praline, the latter of whom is the Minister of Design on Fancy Island. Or should I say, was the Minister of Design, having betrayed the family to be with her merman husbando Aladdin. And now we have our third set of twins in a row, one of which is the very first Charlotte sibling we ever met, way back in the time of Thriller Bark, being 23rd daughter Charlotte Lola. She was the former Minister of Chocolate in Chocolate Town and was once proposed to by Prince Loki of Elbaf. Her sister, 22nd daughter Charlotte Chiffon, is also now a prior minister, having served as the Minister of Puffs on Funiwari Island. I say prior because she has now well and truly betrayed her family as well to pursue a life with her husband Capone and her son Pez. Lola and Chiffon are both 26 years 
years old. Next up we have a solid round of 25 year old quadruplets, one of which was in the previous video, being Charlotte Mobile. But to this brood we now have the pleasure of adding 24th daughter Charlotte Marble, 25th daughter Charlotte Mukuru, and 26th daughter Charlotte Maple, all of whom are half long arm folk. Finally, we find ourselves at another single child and its 27th daughter Charlotte Jaconde, who clads herself as a knight and even goes so far as to dress her horse as a noble steed complete with helmet and all. Presumably she has some skills in the area of jousting given her choice of weapon and transport, but any such skill has yet to be seen. Also Jaconde is a mere 23 years old. And this is kind of madness, but we have yet another single child up in the form of 28th daughter Charlotte Punna. Despite looking incredibly adorable, Punna wields these incredibly massive gloves with what look to be razor sharp claws. But that is enough of this single child business. More twins I say, and here we have 29th daughter Charlotte Joscapone, who is the half snake neck twin of Mascapone, Minister of Silverware. Joscapone's role is unknown, but the two of them are 20 years old and often seen together, gazing down upon the world from their giraffe-like vantage point. Moving on, we're all heading on a trip to Lazy Town because the Charlotte decouplets are back in action. In the previous video we examined the five sons of this mammoth birthing endeavor, but here are the five daughters. Charlotte Nutmeg, Akimeg, Olmeg, Harumeg, and Fuyumeg. But at least these girls have slightly more creative naming than the boys which all stem from a pun involving the word nutmeg, which is pronounced as natsumeg in Japanese, and as many of you may know, natsu is the Japanese word for summer. So three of the other sisters are given the other seasons, Aki, Fuyu, and Haru, meaning autumn, winter, and spring respectively. And the fifth is named all for all seasons. Furthermore, they are all a mighty 18 years old. Heading towards the end here, and we have possibly the most famous or infamous, depending on your view, daughter, Charlotte Pudding. She serves as the supplementary minister of chocolate, having refused to completely take over the role once Lola left, and has the memo memo no me, which allows her to manipulate the memories of her target. Following Pudding is perhaps the second most infamous Charlotte daughter, Flam Pei, who did a phenomenal job of becoming instantaneously hated by the fanbase for her sudden shift in attitude towards her older brother Katakuri. Flam Pei is identified as the Minister of Honey on Rokumitsu Island, with no devil fruit listed, so it looks like she just wears a funky balloony outfit to float about. With three remaining, we find ourselves at 37th daughter Charlotte Wafers, a 13 year old girl whom we know isn't a huge fan of violence, and at such a young age is already one of the more rational members of the Charlotte clan. Then comes in 10 year old 38th daughter Charlotte Normand, who appears to be a dwarf hybrid. And with that, I can't help but force you all to simply imagine the intercourse that would have taken place between Big Mom and a dwarf. You're welcome. And finally, closing everything out is 39th daughter, as well as the 85th and final child, Charlotte Anana, an eight year old sadist who loves knives. I think she'll do well in the Charlotte family. But that pretty much does it for all 39 daughters of the Charlotte family. Along with the 46 sons, that is a massive 85 siblings, so I hope this has given you all a nicely rounded understanding of this massive clan. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenanigan retakes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on Big Mom's infinite fertility. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.